hi guys in this video i want to illustrate on how we can set up fund accounting for non-profits in quickbook uh, desktop okay so fund accounting basically are used by uh, non-profit organizations now you can see this setup here we have donation we have other related uh, if you go to report you see we have non-profit reports so this is quickbook for a non-profit organization so fund accounting is a method where by funds are allocated to and expenses before the money is even spent so you can see here we have customer and donor so you have the money you receive you are receiving that money because you are asked as a NGO to carry out a particular project maybe you receive government grants or there is a donor there are people who raise money and donate to the organization for the purpose of the organization to carry out um, a charity or a community service okay so now in QuickBooks there are features we have to enable so that we can track these funds appropriately okay the first thing here is we need to enable class future so if you go to edit here if you come to preferences okay let's check the list if we have class list you see we already have class list selected here okay once you click on class list you now is empty we don't have a list here so if we have these funds that are available uh, for different purposes so what we need to do is we are going to create these classes and name them after those funds so for instance if I right click and uh, click new this now I will name this let's say community service community service okay maybe it's generic okay let's use a specific uh, uh let's say orphanage or orphanage okay uh i'll go to next let me create another one so let's create like two then these i will say um let's say uh free uh school fees you might have different kind of uh funds that you receive the purpose for that fund is what you will name this particular class uh name okay uh okay let me create another one so let's just have three of that so you can click on this class here and click on new now the third one let's say uh let's use um the blind okay maybe to treat uh, blind people or something or less privileged I just I don't know we have depends less privileged uh, how do they spell that okay depends on the essence of that particular font that you are receiving so you are going to name those font here okay now because of tracking purposes you need to track this transaction they are restricted they are restricted how are these funds restricted is that you need to give an account at least for the fact that you're an ngo that you're not into profit making you still need to give an account so that these donation those donors will see how serious and uh, useful this organization is so for that reason uh, and 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 they would with this they will know that this company has this ngo organization has a purpose they are purpose driven and they are making sure they meet up with their visions and mission okay so with this we need to make this report so now i have these three funds which we receive from different donors okay so since i've created the class the next thing i will go to uh customer here customer here refer to donor okay i'll click on that so i'll click on new customer so let's the donor or the members so let's create i'll just create one donor okay 
so let me say abdul fatai that's my name abdul uh oh this is this mistake okay abdul fatai monero okay so this is the one of the donor as a customer you create that donor as a customer so we are done with that okay so let's also uh go ahead and uh, create a vendor that we're going to create uh, um, incur an expense on as regards the fund that will receive the nature of the fund okay let's say this is um, um abd abd construction construction okay oh that's okay construction i think i have one uh good name for one of these list item list let's use a uh, boho okay so which one am i let me name this i'll double click on that and name it boho boho uh construction or something okay so now i have that there then i click on okay so now i have my vendor customer and the class list so the next thing you have to do is the reason why we are having this class list is so that we can create a report from this report you see uh company and financial you see by class or balance sheet by class most importantly the profit uh the profit and loss though is a non-profit is a non is an ngo we have uh, NGO related reports over here okay so but for the sake of this uh, uh, this fund accounting we need to create this list uh, this class list then make use of this profit and loss by because profit and loss just has to do with income and expenses just like you are looking at this report here that says um, uh, okay i don't have it here just yeah like financial income and expenses kind of okay but here we have an attachment by class so now if we are done with that we we'll go to chart of accounts and go to lists and go to chart of accounts so we need to create a bank so let's say we receive this fund into a bank account so i'll right click anyway and add new so let's say uh, i'm gonna select bank then i'll continue then I'll call this Premium Trust Bank. It's a new bank, of course, here in Nigeria. Premium, though they have been existing for quite a while. Premium Trust uh, Bank. Okay. Now I am creating this account. Then I will save a new. I will create uh, the account number cannot be left blank. Okay. The account number. So let's generate. Let's just create a number. 376 okay okay let's just leave it that way bank account number okay now let's see if it can allow me to save the account number cannot be left blank oh sorry not this number uh it's this number here okay so that is because in my edits uh let me go to preference it's like on accounting i uh, use account number so i can tick that off but if i do that let me see first of all let's say should have account we have numbers okay they have numbers okay i can decide to give this a no a number okay so but depend on whatever it is we've agreed on the coding the child of account coding okay so let's use an um, two two four five one okay let me just use that a random so i'll save a new two two four five one okay now i'm going to create for those individual funds so we have boho construction okay so i'm going to name that uh new account boho construction uh, as bank account boho so we have them as a sub account of because we only have one bank and we receive these funds into those banks so i have to select the bank 2241 so i think i should use 22452 uh, let me just use that like that okay then uh save a new 
the to the second one is um uh school fee okay free school fee uh, just name it up okay then we have free tuition fee free tuition okay just to pay to be able to pay uh school fees for some selected uh persons okay according to the now i'm going to select this again under premium so i'll use two two four five two i'm just doing this because we have account number if not i would have just deselect that save and new this the last is an um, orphanage okay so let's go to add new so i'll call this orphanage orphanage okay orphanage okay then i also select this as a sub account of two two four five which is premium to so i have this two two four five uh let me use uh four one two three okay four i'll use four okay now with this i'm done creating the sub account so if you look at the chart of account here you see now that we have those three bank accounts is a one we have one bank account but we have a sub three sub on all this uh uh three sub account they are fund account they are restricted the purpose for which these funds are received or were given is for boho construction free tuition and orphanage and this money these monies are in the bank so we need to make sure we have everything listed as for tracking purposes okay now we will create a transaction so let's say we receive a deposit so i go to banking and i'm gonna make deposit so let's say one of the donor uh receive it deposits for boho constructions i'm gonna select boho construction then today's date is 14th of august okay is a deposit then i'm gonna select receive from abdul fatah monero which is a customer uh or according to ngo a donor so and um this is eating an account from which account so we need to have an income account not really income per income like yeah uh, we are naming it is an income for we receive uh money okay so let's just say is a corporate and business grant okay let's say corporate and business grant so i'm going to select this account then if i have any description of this transaction i input that here okay then very very important i'll select this and uh, take it to boho construction so let's see we receive um, 1.5 okay 1.5 million so i'm gonna go ahead and save and close this now for this construction i'll go ahead and let's say we want to start spending okay hold on we want to start spending from these uh money so you can actually go to either vendor if we are not paying instantly but we are paying so let's go to check banking and write check so from writing check we are going to select the fund that same fund which is boho construction we're going to spend from this boho construction okay so if we have a vendor i will select let's say we have abd construction okay as you can see italy then now uh, we're going to select the uh, transaction okay so now let's say we are incurring an expenses or uh, i think i don't have one do i have or let's just say for outside contract service okay let's contract services yeah this is this should be okay so we are trying to get this contract face so we'll start with that so contract services then we paid uh 100 000 as a consulting fee to consult abd construction to be able to carry out this boho construction for us then please you have to still select here the boho construction okay now with this i'm done selecting the necessary items i needed or i need for this transaction i'll go ahead and save and close now once i have closed this now i can go and pull out a report so first of all we I uh, want to show us the company on financial profit and loss by class, which is very, very important. So now we'll see here uh, the date is okay, selected properly. You see, we have boho construction. Remember, 
will only receive income and spend on bow o construction had it been we receive income for the rest two we will have them listed as boho construction we we'll have the to second here and the third then we we'll have the total okay so but for this uh lesson i just i just made use of one example so that we can understand the uh the concept behind making creating a class and a sub account of a uh, bank but for now we are in class so you can see now there's an income of 1.5 and we've spent 100,000 for that which is very 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 clear we've done this for just boho construction okay so the next thing we are going to do now is to go to reports now let's go to balance sheets uh what am i trying to look for since we have this here and we've created sub account so let's go to balance sheets definitely if you want to see your bank account you could go to balance sheet or you go to your chart of accounts you see uh that so let's go to balance sheet by balance sheet standard okay now from balance sheet standard you see we have a premium trust bank we have boho construction of one four now uh as an assets so we receive this is the balance we have after spending hundred thousand if you double click on that you see the history of the transaction Okay, so see this is what we have on that premium. If you go to chart of account, you see it properly how it's been arranged. Now you see now the boho construction is 1.4, which is making the same amount that we have in premium trust bank as 1.4. So for receive money to for free tuition and for orphanage, all the three money this plus this plus this is going to make up the total value you have on that premium trust bank because we have one bank we are making use of one bank so for that reason i made these three funds uh, a sub account of that now if we go a little further for non-profit uh let's say biggest donor and grants uh now in this case let's see january 1st through august okay let's check a report let's check this uh, donor bank report, donor contribution summary, statement of financial. Okay, this let's check this cent of financial uh, income and expenses. You see, it's almost the same as the class future. We have it as the same with class future. Okay, then if you go to that same report, non profit, let's go to uh, functional expenses over here we'll see what we've spent just for the expenses okay then similarly if you check this financial position you see the value for the bank okay the value for the bank account which is now remaining 1.4 okay this is how you go ahead to actually uh, create transactions based on uh, fund accounting based on fund accounting where you receive fund for a specific purpose is restricted it's not unrest it is restricted to that particular transaction alone for you to be able to be the boho or to assist the less privileged or the orphanage or school fee or stuff like that or this or community services you receive all this fund for this purpose now it is it is very very idea ideal to classify those transactions and make a report whereby these donors or this grant receive or these people that are donating will actually see that now the reason why we do not actually see anything on this non-profit which is this donor here is because we've not done anything on donor we just receive uh we receive through bank deposit right okay so uh, the next video I'm going to make, I'm going to go on how to receive donations or pledge through bank, which which is what we've done now, or so through uh, invoice or pledge or through sales receipt or donation. Okay, I hope you guys understand and please like my subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, you can share the video too, and turn on the notification. Uh, see you guys in my next class and have a wonderful day. Bye.